Hello people, in this video, let us look at amylase rich foods, okay? So basically, amylase rich foods means, uh, you know, uh, directly what it is, it is sprouts, etc. Basically, these will have this enzyme amylase, okay? So ARF, they are called as, so basically, what will they have? The enzyme amylase, okay? So these will be enzyme rich foods. So basically, okay. amylase is an enzyme, right? It is an enzyme. What does it do? It converts starch into sugars. So this is important, right? So it hydrolyzes starch into sugars. So is this clear? So amylase is an enzyme. It converts starch into sugars, isn't it? So we want some foods which will provide our body with this amylase. So we need these kind of sprouts, etc. Which will give us this amylase. So when it comes to complementary feeding regimen, so basically we are talking about weaning foods and all that, right? So basically, af uh, when um, after six months, they want to start some uh, complementary feeding regimen, right? When the baby turns six, greater than six months, and they want to uh, start off some different types of foods, not just breast milk. So when it comes under weaning foods, you have, or they call it exactly as complementary feeding regimen. Under this, they are talking about amylase rich foods, okay? So, germinated cereal flour or pulse flour is an amylase rich food. Okay. So, basically, what they will do, they will not just germinate this and give it to the children. They are going to make the flour out of it, right? They are going to sprout it, then roast it or something like that, then powder it and then make the flour. So, germinated cereal, make the flour, okay? Or the pulse floor, cereal floor or pulse floor. You know the difference between cereal and pulse, right? So basically, cereal will be grass family, isn't it? If you remember, in nutrition, we have already looked at the difference between cereals and pulse. Cereals is the grass type of thing, right? So here you will have uh, rice, wheat, maize, right? Corn, all this. So the photo has been put here. Rice, rye, wheat, oats, maize, etc. All these grass type of families. Pulses are legumes, right? Legumes are pulses. They'll be in pods, isn't it? So here you will have the cow pea, green pea, right? Did we see a moong or something here? Chicken pea, moong bean, chickpea, not chicken pea, sorry. Chickpea, soya bean, all this comes under pulses. So when it comes to <clears throat> complementary feeding regimen, so, when it comes to complementary food, right, ideally what and all should be the features of it. It should be homemade, it should be um, fresh, hygienic, palatable, cost effective, culturally acceptable, energy dense. When it comes to energy dense, under it they are talking about this amylase rich food. Okay. So, basically is able to dramatically reduce the viscosity of high dietary porridges. So, what are they trying to say here? It is able to dramatically reduce the viscosity of high dietary porridges. So, the viscosity will be reduced, is it? Dramatically reduce the viscosity. Okay. Moving on. So, we already told you prerequisites, attributes of <clears throat> ideal complementary food, we told you what and all. It should be homemade, fresh, <clears throat> cost effective, culturally acceptable and then coming to energy dense. Under it, they are talking about amylase rich foods can be prepared by germinating cereal floors. By germinating cereal floors. So, this is one word, isn't it? Or one term. Once you germinate the cereal, then you make the floor. You don't germinate the cereal floor. You germinate the cereal and make the floor. Sprouting increases the vitamin B content. So this is what you have to focus on. Why do you want to sprout it and then make the floor of the cereal? Because sprouting increases vitamin B content. Is this clear? So sprouting increases what? Vitamin B content. Then mm, that's it. Malting increases the digestibility and vitamin and iron content. What is malting? This is controlled germination. Controlled germination is malting. Looks like sprouting is very natural, but malting is controlled germination. Okay, it will increase the vitamin content and di digestibility also. And vitamin, they are talking about riboflavin and niacin. Again, these are vitamin B only, right? 
So riboflavin will be B2 and niacin will be B3, isn't it? And also they're talking about iron here. Okay. So one more advantage you can write here. So to the baby you will give what? We uh, complementary food. Lot of things in that you will give what this to this baby? You will give sprouted floor, right? Of that some porridge, etc. So if you don't, if the baby has less protein, what will happen? You can write this. Quarshi orker, quarshi orker, right? We have already have a separate video on this. Quarshi orker, right? So there will be low serum enzymes, right? Amylase will be less. And uh, all the pancreatic enzymes are reduced. So a lot of disadvantages. So under quashi orker, you can write that low serum enzymes. So did you understand guys? So in protein energy malnutrition, protein energy malnutrition, example quashi orker, one of the finding will be low serum enzymes that is low amylase will be there in such children okay then there seems to be yet just last one point in uh, the textbook remarkable rise in amylase levels will create problem also pancreatitis gut perforation etc so in ascitic fluid this amylase should not be more remarkable rise in amylase level in ascitic fluid that will be a problem. So usually everything will have something good and bad. So amylase rich foods we have written here. So what and all did we see here guys? It's a recap. Please focus here. So amylase rich foods. Uh, basically these are enzyme uh, rich. They are rich in amylase. ARF also they are called as. Basically they are, uh, these convert starch into sugars. Amylase converts starch into sugars. And uh, in complementary feeding regimen. Right, uh, we are talking about uh, germinated cereal flour or pulse flour, amylase rich food. Basically, it will dramatically reduce the viscosity of high dietary porridges. So, whenever you have a high dietary porridge, the this the this uh, amylase rich food will dramatically reduce the viscosity. It's an excellent weaning food. So, all these words should come out. Excellent weaning weaning food. So, they are talking about germination, then the making the flour. So basically prerequisites of an ideal complementary food we saw it should be homemade, it should be fresh, cost effective, culturally acceptable and energy dense under which we are talking about amylase rich, sprouting increases vitamin B, malting that is controlled germination increases vitamin B again, it increases the digestibility and also the iron content. Quashi uh, in Quashi uh, uh, basically protein energy malnutrition you will see that the serum enzymes uh, see, uh, will be low, amylase will be actually low in these children. Okay, so if uh, we don't give proper protein to children, this is what will happen. Quashi or kir, protein energy malnutrition. Okay, so that's all for this. So remember, it is very good to eat these sprouts, etc. That's all for now in this video. Bye-bye.